All right, so we're going to attempt this even though we have some music going on. But copyright strikes, bah, who cares? We're just having beer, having a good time, right? Yeah. So the first one we're going to try is... Well, shall we tell them oh, who we are? Okay. For Heavy Metal Beer Club. I thought we were going to do that after. So Heavy Metal Beer Club here at 1912 Brewing Craft Brewery in Tucson, Arizona. And 1912, that is uh, the year that Arizona was founded as a state. Wow. Yeah, little oh. trivia out there. We love this place. We haven't been here for a little bit and they sure have a board full of good stuff, which oh. you will see. Oh yeah, amazing. So we came here, she was telling me that uh, they had some Del Bach, which is a whiskey place right across the street, and they had aged some of their beer in their Del Bach barrels, but then we looked at the board and it was just too many good beers that we couldn't just get one, that one beer. We Got had to go with the flight. And what's the first one we're going to start off with tasting? The first one is Abuelitas, and it's a mole, mole inspired stout. 8%. Yeah, give nice that, and give dark. that a nice so they can nice see it. Nice and dark. That's really dark. Mole is so good, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Let me get a taste of that. First thing I taste is the little burn you get on your throat. It's got a little, like, Ooh. heat in there. That little does spice. have some spice to it. Yeah, that is really good. Chocolatey as mole, mole is. Mm -hmm. But I would mm -hmm. say what really stands out is that the heat. And it goes away pretty quick, but it's and it's it's flavorful, though. It's mm -hmm. nice. I wonder if the spice in it is like a cinnamon, too. A little bit of cinnamon. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I Most likely. That's not the, that's not the heat, for sure. No. I mean, it is, it's got a heat. Yeah, but I am tasting some cinnamon in that as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's this next one? This is the one that we came for. The next one is called the, the Mescalero. Mescalero, and it's aged in Del Bach whiskey barrels. Yeah, which we can throw a rock. No, we can't really throw a rock, but it is across the street a little ways from uh, the brewery here. And it's funny because we're going backwards. Usually you're supposed to start with your lights so you don't mess up your palate, but they're, they're all so good. I really wanted to go that way <laughs> because I'm afraid that the IPAs would really affect my taste buds because they're hazy, there's a lot of juice. So that's what, that was my thinking. I like your thinking, but that is, uh, I can taste, I can taste the whiskey now, barrel. You know what it. we should have done is they had the, the mescalero regular stout that wasn't barrel aged and we should have tried them side by side. Yeah, yeah, oh well. Oh well. And that's a 12% alcohol by volume. Both that's of those, total. yeah, both of those are winners. Yeah. And then this is the Ofa May. This is another bourbon barrel fermented barley wine. Wow, look at that color. Now the barley wine is more a little red. Yeah, which amber ones usually are. And that's a 12.2% alcohol by volume. That's nice, really smooth. Yeah, it's got more a really boozy. different flavor. Wow. Which the other two are boozy, but the boozy flavor doesn't stand out as much. It really stands out on this one. Oh, and you know what I forgot to it mention? It's so good. Is right when, we, right when we walked into the building, you know it's brewing day. It smells like malt and uh, it's oatmeal. I always get that oatmeal smell on brewing day when you want the sweet scent in the air. And then what's this next one? Oh, the Pasión y Guayaba is what it's called, which is passion and guava. Yeah, it's that. <laughs> and it's passion and guava. Tamarindo, chamoy, and chilted beans. And chilted beans, that is a hot it. little chili. Yeah, it's just like a little round chili. And uh, when they're dried up, you just scrunch them up in your soup or whatever you're eating. It's and they're spicy, so we're expecting some spice. That's a 5% alcohol by A volume. nice golden, lighter color. Yeah, it's a ghost. Get the look on your face first, because you usually taste the spice before I do. Mm. Not sour, it has a nice sweet finish at the end. Oh, wow. you get the guava really yeah. stands out. Wow. I can taste the guava a lot. It's just a little bit tart, slightly sweet, very guava forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the chamoy, chamoy stands out. I'm That's not really, really getting good. the spiciness of the chilted bean. Let's see if it comes in a little late. I think because that first one had so much. It's coming in, the chilted bean's coming in. It's a little late, but it does come in, which is nice. And it's just a hint. Yeah. Not as much as the, the first one. The and now this one is the Amarillo Sky, and it's a hazy IPA, seven percent. Ooh, and that is that is hazy. Oh my God, you don't even get any light through that. That's 
That's very milky. Ooh, it smells really good. That looks like one of those um, like smoothie kind of. Oh juice yeah, beers. bitter, very hoppy. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that is really if you something. are a big IPA wow. drinker, that is really nice. I'd say, Marcus, you need to come down here. Yeah. <laughs> I would rate every one of these a five. Yeah. Out of, one out of five. I mean, there's not even yeah, one that comes Yeah, they've, they've all been outstanding. They're like top notch. They need to serve 1912 and more of our restaurants in Tucson. Yeah, yeah, there's places. I mean, you can mm -hmm. pick it up. They have a can. They do, but I wish they had it on tap everywhere. Oh, yeah. That would be a, I mean, they're just hitting it out of the park. This is crazy. I mean, it's so hard to pick on this board, but I, I wanted to try a hazy, but I like the name Amarillo Sky. I thought that sounded... Is it Amarillo, Texas? No, that's yellow. Amarillo. Amarillo Sky? Yeah. Well, that, they but named it But there is Amarillo, Texas. That's what Amarillo. I was thinking of. Amarillo yeah. is what Amarillo. I Amarillo. Amarillo, like, there's a song. Amarillo by Moon. Yeah, I like that. And this one is called a One Night Rodeo. And it's a hazy Easy double, double. Like APA. That's IPA, an 8%. 8%. Now, this one is a lot less cloudy than the other hazy, but it's a, still a nice haze to yeah, it. Yeah, that's a real nice hazy. Yeah, this is, uh, wow, I would love to know. The, I, I wish I knew really to isolate the flavors of the hops. Yeah. Because I bet you that's what's really giving that last one the flavor. Taste but, this um, one. Now, this one, the One Night Rodeo. It's much sweeter, less bitter. Yeah. Really yeah, good. Yeah, not, not, as, not as thick. Really not as viscous good. as the last, but very flavorful. This one, you're getting more of the, the grapefruit rather than the hops. It's also got a nice little creamy note. It may not look as white as the other one, but it's, I'm tasting a lot of creamy. In it. Yeah, I'm that's... going back to this one, to the Amarillo Sky, just to go next to it again. Both wow. fantastic. This one's well, a lot sweeter. I would the just double. say, overall, you cannot go wrong with anything I'd say they that you nailed picked here. Single one of these yeah, beers. these have all been fantastic. We went backwards in our day scene, but uh, you know, I'd like to try that blueberry pie as it goes. Yeah, that looks really good too. Gosh, they have so many. They have 19 beers on top. Okay, which would you say is your favorite? My favorite, though, hands down, is the Abuelitas, and it's the Mole inspired stout. This is in. Same. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. That That's my favorite also today. And again, as we said, with a lot of stouts, you want to let it sit a little bit and open up and come out. Boy, did that happen to this, going back to this one. And, um, it's just absolutely delicious. We, we're going to see if we can get some to take home. Well, we're going to sit here and enjoy our beers, folks. Thank yeah, you come, so much if you're for joining Tucson, us here. Come to 1912 Brewing. Yeah, come check it out. You Very family-friendly place. It's, yeah. uh, it's a cool-looking place. Wide open. It's very yeah. patriotic as well. Oh, yeah, very much. So you can tell they support our military. Yeah, they do. Lots of uh, nice flags. And, of course, Old Glory hanging up. Ooh, uh, it smells good. Wow. It's a cool place. 1912. You guys killed it killed every one of these so thank let's you for, enjoy our beers thank you for watching heavy metal beer club stay safe drink responsibly and stay, stay metal, metal.